Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 12 of this series. In this session, we are going to look at how to pass parameters to the variables and how variables can be used as functions or processors. Let's quickly switch to Click View. So, I'm going to create a variable. Control Alt V. And I'll be adding a variable in the front from the front end. V para. Okay. And I'll be defining that variable behavior if i pass a value to my parameter dollar one and the value is equals to one then display a alphabet a okay if my i mean if i pass a value to the parameter dollar one and the value is two if the value is two then display b in place of that else display c means if i pass a value into a variable right so if i pass dollar i mean uh, a parameter if the value is one then it will display a if the value is two then it will display b or else c okay here dollar one is a placeholder to pass a value i mean value to this variable. so let's see how does it works go to should obviously create a text object and take your variable name v parameters v parameters are available okay and i want to pass one and to dollar one means i will be passing a value one to dollar one so a dollar one is a placeholder so if i say v param of one so it is like dollar one will be replaced by the value one and to pass the parameters always it should be in the dollar sign expansion so dollar right then apply and check so it's giving nothing so why it is not giving anything let's check the variable definition because we have defined def we have defined the variable and we haven't pressed OK, right? So now give the definition in a proper way. If dollar one equals to one, then a. If dollar one means first parameter equals to two, the parameter value equals to two, then display b else display c you can observe even though this logic is fine it is i mean it is highlighting that the definition is wrong so due to some click use handling issues so it's showing like this now you can see it means in earlier we haven't defined that one properly right so this is how you miss the longer definition sometime so be careful while writing definitions to the uh, expression okay and here we are passing a parameter one so automatic i mean parameter value one so definitely it will be written a if i pass two then check it should be written b let's apply the values b if i apply seven ultimately it will enter into else statement so the default value i mean the else value should will be c so this is how we can pass parameters to the variables let's put the scenario into charts so i'm going to creating a chart so i just copied the sheet you can observe that so main sheet i just copied the sheet so let's go to new sheet if you copy the sheet all the objects will be replicated and a new sheet will be created so new sheet object and then go to charts select strike table and i'm selecting country and next is sum of units sold this is my units this is my expression 
and I have add I'm going to add one more expression that is the distinct bands so count of this company so I want to check how many companies are established in a particular country or else how many companies were selling their products in the particular country so if I write this one then it will gives a repeated values I means uh, it will count all the values but I wanted a distinct distinct name if you see these so let's make it distinct count of distinct companies d i s t i n c t distinct okay remember distinct is a very costly function right so this is how you can get this so instead of writing each and every function here in i mean manually so you can pass parameters right how can we pass parameters let's remove this distinct then we'll see it in a different view so assume this count as a first parameter and the value within this as the second parameters and go to unit and there some as a first parameter and the other one as second parameter if i can pass these two parameters to a variable and that would be easy to maintain it how can we do that let's create a variable control alt v add so i'll be add v uh, i'll make this as exp means i'll be using this one in expression so v exp okay press okay and define it so now dollar one of dollar two means i'll be passing two parameters to this variable to calculate something if i pass dollar one as sum and dollar two as a field name it will be sum of that field name okay let's try this here so instead of this one i'll be writing v expression right and we have to pass two parameters remember so to how we pass two parameters in functions first parameter is here dollar one second parameter is dollar two now give the exact ones whatever you want to have so in first parameters i want to have sum means we'll be passing a value to dollar one the value is sum and dollar two would be the field name so whenever we are writing or as whenever you're passing the variables the variables should have a dollar sign expansion let's add this right press on apply then okay you can see the values let's go to control alt v how they work so we have passed two parameters to this function so how do we have passed the parameters let me show you that so i have passed the values like v exp of sum is the function that is the first parameter and units sold is the second parameter passed it means when exp if whenever it returns to this window it will be like so it will assign the variable assigns sum in place of dollar one and unit sold in place of dollar two so this is how it will works right so let's validate the values so that's why what i do is i'll return this function so next to this and i I'll write this here and I made I mean, uh, let's we keep that as the sum of units sold and promote this expression now the values should be same so this is with the parameter passing this is with the static expression assume if users want to have some other customizations in the upcoming 
releases so we can easily do that if you are using parameters when passing um, variables to the parameters or if you are writing your expressions in variables if not if you are writing expressions all the way like this then ultimately you have to open the file and you need to edit and you have to do it so it has to have when uh, come to the next round right so this is how we can uh, pass the parameters to a variable so that's all for today's session thanks for watching the video